Hi Cancer, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a few things before we start. Uh, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next three weeks energy going forward and we'll treat it like an almost personal reading. Also, uh, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. If it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, you can check out your other signs or other placements. There is a playlist link below. Also, um, if you'd like to enter my personal reading giveaway, details are below how to enter, but basically you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. I do announce the winner the first part of every month. And then lastly, um, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, details are below. And uh, also, if you'd like to check out my other channel, my Meditation Relax Calm channel, that information is there as well. So with that, Cancer, let's get started here. What's the energy here for Cancer? Let's get the, some general energy here first. Uh, let's see what you can share with Cancer. Okay, so we got the Ten of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Hermit. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. So interesting, Cancer. So what I'm picking up here, and you have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I feel like, Cancer, there was a situation in the past, something difficult that you dealt with, right, in a love situation. It could have been something else in your life as well. I sense here, Cancer, that um, you've been very focused on your career, right? Uh, some of you could just be about self-love, taking care of yourself, maybe being more, you know, feeling more independent, more empowered, focusing on work or something else um, that you has your focus, some sort of project. Got the Hermit doing a lot of soul searching here, maybe listening to your intuition, thinking about, um, you know, what's next, okay, is what I'm getting here. So I feel like Cancer may be thinking a lot about what's next. Where do I put my time and my energy here with the Six of Pentacles? Uh, there may be a particular person here, right, that uh, maybe you're thinking about, should I even put my time and energy into this situation? So let's see what's going on here. With the person on your mind, what, what can you share with Cancer about the person on their mind? Okay, so we got the Ten of Pentacles. Got the Four of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands. Wow. Wow, Cancer and the Star. Aquarius energy. We also have Virgo energy down here and we have Judgment Oh my gosh, Cancer, interesting. I just can't believe the energy here. We got judgment on the bottom of the deck, and we also have the two of wands, and we have justice here. Oh my gosh, and look at that, your energy here, Cancer. So you have someone, I feel, who is definitely thinking about you. I feel like somebody is thinking about the future, I do sense that there is some past history between you and this person, and I feel like this is someone who wants to rekindle things or resurrect things between the two of you. Now, I see this person seriously thinking they have the intent um, is the energy that I get here. Um, two, there may be something here, something that uh, with that justice card could be a Libra. Could be something they need to confess, something they need to be honest about, or just uh, could be making things right. This could be someone that you had an ending with, somebody that there was a breakup. You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands here, uh, the Eight of Wands. I feel like this person is sees you as somebody that they could be in a relationship with. You got the Eight of Wands here, so I sense that there's going to be some communication or some sort of movement here uh, between you and this person. So if you've not heard from this person, I feel like you're going to get some sort of communication. Now you got Aquarius energy here, the star card. So I also get here too that uh, this could be someone too that you run into somewhere. It, it's a faded energy. 
Um, interesting. Let's see what else. What else can you tell Cancer about this person on their mind? What else can you tell Cancer about this person on their mind? Now, this may be somebody too, right? This could be picking up the energy of you wanting things to move forward. But this feels like a faded connection. Okay, but a connection that needs healing. All right, we got the Six of Cups. We got the Page of Swords. Oh, this person misses you. This person misses you, Cancer, and they've been spying on you. Hmm. They've been trying to figure out what you're doing, okay? So some of you, you may have a little bit of communication, but I'm sensing this is someone who there's not a whole lot of communication going on right now. Oh boy, look at that, Cancer. Two of Cups. Oh my gosh, and the Nine of Cups. And bottom of the deck here, you got Justice again. So Cancer, this is someone I feel that you know from your past, soulmate energy. I feel like this is someone either you were in a relationship with this person or this is someone that um, misses you. And they now see the potential here of a relationship, stability here, security with that Ten of Pentacles. The only thing that I'm going to caution, Cancer, is it does feel like, oh no, I don't know where I'm getting this from. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. There's something here about money. I don't know. I'm picking this up random, random channeling. Okay. If this person is having financial problems, I would say just be weary. Um, I don't know. That came to mind. And that may be a specific message for someone. But uh, you got the page of swords here. So two things here. I feel like this person may be, you know, trying to... Uh, they may be looking at past photos, make, looking at past memories, or they may be checking out your social media, or maybe trying to find out through your family if you, you have family that they know, you know, what you're up to. But I see this person at some level trying to figure out what you're up to, all that kind of stuff. And I also sense here too, this could be about them pursuing you, right? Uh, really in a place where maybe they're ready to pursue this more, right? To something more stable. Now, some of you may not want to pursue this, but we have the Two of Cups here, right? And here's the Eight of Wands. I feel like this person is very, very passionate about you, but I also get the energy with this Two of Cups. This is someone who has feelings for you, especially too with this Nine of Cups. It almost feels like this is someone when they look at your photo, they look at your picture, or I sense here, um, they think about you. I sense Cancer that they really feel happy. They feel content. And not knowing what happened here with this Ten of Swords... Right, but there is justice here. We got your energy here with the chariot. Oh, look at that. The king and the queen of swords here. So it almost feels like cancer. Both of you have detached yourself a bit from this connection. Uh, it also feels like there is some sort of communication, upcoming communication and conversation between you and this person that's about to happen. This could be someone too who may even... Um, um, live at a little bit of a distance here from you, but it feels like this is someone you haven't talked to for quite some time. Interesting. All right. What's the potential outcome of the situation here between Cancer and this person? Let's see what the potential outcome of the situation is here between Cancer and this person. And then I'll pull some cards, you know, for single energy. Because some of you may not want to, you know, rekindle this or, you know, maybe not wanting anything more from this person. We've got the Six of Pentacles. We have the Justice. We have the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Wands, wow, and we have the Ace of Swords. So Cancer, there is an energy here of a fresh start between you and this person. Now you got the Six six of Pentacles here, so I sense here this is this person trying to make things right. I feel like this person wants to put in the work, the attention here 
it does feel like this person wants to focus on making you happy is the energy that I see here. This is someone I feel with this two of cups here and the four of pentacles. This is someone who has never let go of this connection. All right. And I sense here too, there's something about money. So, you know, maybe this was someone in the past. They didn't want to share their money. They didn't want to share their assets. Uh, this could be somebody who it could be a bit frugal. And, you know, maybe they were just very focused on their career. But I also see the Four of Pentacles as someone who plays it safe. So you could have been dealing with someone who, right, that there's the, those people who, right, they feel safe in their box. I sense here, too, that could be this person as well. And then look at that. You got the Ace of Wands. So they want an opportunity. They want a chance here. They see the potential between the two of you. You also have here the Ace of Swords. You got two Aces. So there's an opportunity here for communication, which could lead to a fresh start between the two of you, depending on what you want, Cancer. So with that, I'm just going to ask, uh, what's the potential challenge here in the situation for Cancer and this person? What's the challenge here between uh, Cancer and this person? Okay, so we got the hangman, okay? Um, you know, what I really pick up from that energy is um, maybe there's been some distance between the two of you. But let's see what else. Yeah, five of pentacles. King of Pentacles and King of Wands. All right. And bottom. Oh, wow. There's three kings here, Cancer. Some of you, this could be a same sex relationship. Not for everybody, but. I feel the challenge here is this may be somebody in the past who wasn't giving, right? They may have been all about their money. I, I told you I talked about money. They may have been somebody who was very focused on their money, their career. Maybe some of you, they were very frugal. They didn't want to share their assets. Somebody who kept things casual. Um, this I'm also getting here, this is someone who tries to control their emotions. So I sense this is someone who really shows more with their actions. So watching their actions is going to be key here. But I feel the challenge here is there's been some time, some distance between you and this person. And so you may feel differently about this person than maybe you did in the past. So with that cancer, I'm going to pull a few cards here and just ask about single energy. Okay, because some of you may, you know, be on the fence about this situation. What can you show, share with cancer for singles who's coming in for cancer or is there new love coming in for cancer okay uh, i think there is yeah you got another you got another option here okay you got temperance on the bottom of the deck strong sagittarius energy okay you got the four of cups here the seven of wands the king of swords and you also have here the judgment I feel like there may be some opportunities around you, Cancer, at this time, or maybe you're talking to someone, but it's almost like you don't see them is the energy that I get there. And I feel like um, if, you know, you have been thinking about communication with this other person, the person on your mind here, that could be blocking you from new love too. So your energy may be too much thinking about a past situation that could be blocking right new love coming in. But I also feel here that some of you may not be ready also for new love. Um, but some of you, I do feel like there are people around you that are interested and you just may, may not be noticing um, at this time. So Cancer, I'm going to take it to the extent and we're going to see how this plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.